My name is Carl Adams. I'm a Transformation Manager for Adult Southampton and Head of People Participation for Southern NHS. My normal roles are being completely turned upside down during coronavirus and currently I'm supporting many services across Adult Southampton. So today I'm going to video diary this to kind of give an insight into what's happening um, with our services and kind of my views and feelings on what's going on. So currently I am vi supporting uh, and bringing together the clinical leads for COPD, diabetes, tissue viability, stoma care, cardiac and bladder and bowel services. So let's see what today holds um, and then we're going to meet all those teams, see if we can support them and then we have a big role is getting PPE for the trust for Solent Southampton services and make sure they've got enough kit for the day, working with our stock colleagues um, and making sure we fit protection control uh, guidance has been followed and people are actually understanding it. So let's see what today's hold starts and our video throughout the day. Right, so my morning's rushed ahead as normal. Um, so, so far I've done a nine o'clock call with all the community specialist services leads to see how they're getting on for the day. I guess my reflection so far is they're actually doing okay. They're just kind of waiting for what's going to happen and what's coming and especially over this bank holiday weekend. They're, they're struggling a bit around working differently still, working mobile and not used to it and actually miss that social bit of coming in. Practicalities in particular around printing and posting letters out to patients and staff, so that's challenging for them. Also things around pay and being paid for weekend or does it affect their credit or does it, are they going to do it overtime or do they have enough break? So those are the kind of concerns we have so far. Also the demand on patients over the weekend coming out of UHS and uh, whether we need to run services slightly different and do things like on call. So that was the morning call with my CSS team. Uh, second call of the day was an operations call across all of Adults at Hampton. Uh, yeah, that's going quite well. I think overall it works quite well. And different teams got different demands. Um, again, mostly that has been around moving staff around and, and actually staff feeling happy to get trained up and work in different areas. So. Um, staff are understandably anxious or can't crack on and do the bit they want because they're not skilled or, or not upskilled and support around that. But a lot of the services are doing shadowing, which I think is working quite well, but that is another demand on our services as well. So my other key role for today has been around PPE and um, ensuring that all our adults at Hampton services have got enough PPE and the, they understand the guidance and process around PPE. So another Zoom call I've done this morning with all the service leads, PPE champions, we're calling them. There's a lot of angst around PPE, so um, people are not quite following the guidance correctly, um, mainly because it's kept changing so rapidly and people can't keep up with the, the, the guidance. Um, we're having issues with visors um, and wearing goggles and gla around glasses. People want to be protected, understandably, and I'm now we're getting trickles of patients who are positive in particular. We are also having demands now around um, collecting clinical waste and the processes. Interestingly, the communication and the understanding of how communication across the trust really, we've got some learning here. Um, people do not either comprehend the emails or how we take on information. People need variation, need a clear guidance. We're pulling documents together that are just not user friendly um, and they need a good eye, um, need clear plain English, need to be applicable to everyone really need to be visually um, good as well long documents just too much for processing when people are anxious I really do feel we need some guidance around this and just get a better format um, and people need to seek um, experts for this in particular we're rapidly putting in a lot of new processes processes around collecting of waste in particular as an example from today um, people have never done this before services have never run this do we have the admin support how do linking, how do we optimise our um, system one systems, how do we optimise our process away? Just variation across all services just makes it, we've got to individualise it so much. Um, but at least I guess everyone talking about it and all on the same call does really help and that's probably the model moving forward is how you get services working together more. I think this is kind of positive of this of happening is that actually we are finally working together a bit more across the system. Um, but this is only within Adult Southampton. I can reflect on whether it's fair, but I, I'm not sure. Uh, just a quick personal for reflection here from following my calls this morning. Um, 
it's definitely needs to be um, doing understanding around people and it really that people aspect of how people learn, take on information differently, how we create a little bit of humour, how we keep people engaged. Um, it, it's challenging when you're not sat in a room when you're doing it virtually uh, um, and knowing these individuals. I'm fortunate to know many people but you still need to create a, a sense of calm and an ability to work with these people. Um, bringing all engagement skills in it is key. It's listening and being there for when they need it and trying to have some of the answers, but it's moving all the day by day, so sometimes we just don't have the answers or we need to wait for clarification. Um, so this afternoon, um, I was zipped across to the Western Hospital to help out around PPE. It's been the main focus. Overall, it's been quite a calmish day. People seem to be getting on their business, but... Um, most of the conversations with staff have been around um, what's coming, is it happening, and how's that feel, and when's everything going to happen, giving quite a lot of uncertainty still. So on a personal note for this afternoon, I guess it's about how we build those relationships and keep those relationships going. They're really valuable. I've done a lot of work um, building on contacts I have with System One um, and colleagues across the Trust to really build some clear guidance around waste. I think these are really valuable skills to have when you're doing this kind of role um, and supporting services. Um, I've also talked to some colleagues on the ground, on the front line, sort of see where they're at and how they're doing. I like, guess it's invaluable, they're experienced staff, but they still don't know what's happening and they seem they're managing well at the moment and they have everything they need, but actually it's that expectation of not knowing what the future is. Um, and they're also talking about the impact on their families um, and what does that have every day. So. Yeah, um, good to keep touch base with a few colleagues um, and some frontline staff to see what actually is going on and how they're feeling too. So, final part of the day, um, it's been delivered to community nursing PPE, um, talking to them, they're just saying actually their teams are now and the nurses are suddenly feeling a bit um, at ease because they've got the PPE and they're taking it out every day and they're having their own little, little stock, which is making them feel a lot of ease and actually they feel like they're actually going to do so. Um, it looks like this guidance and having a bit of stability around it is really helpful at the moment um, and that communication there is helping and reiterating the um, information of the correct PP has really helped. Um, so that's it for today so far. Um, maybe we'll do this again, hey? <laughs>